Welcome to Fax Time. To get more videos, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get latest notifications. People who could be characters in fiction books and movies but they existed in real life. Yes, number one. Christian Heinrich Heineken, the incredibly smart child, who is still called the child prodigy, was born in 1721 in Lübeck, Germany. His father, Paul Heineken, was an artist and architect, and his mother Katharina Heineken, was an artist and alchemist. His exceptional abilities were obvious from a very young age, at just 10 months old, Christian could already speak repeating the names of objects and sometimes even fully form sentences. He had a phenomenal memory and, according to witnesses, could even quote the New Testament in Latin at the age of one. When he was three, he gave a detailed and interesting lecture about Danish history in the times of Frederick IV, shocking. Courtiers with his knowledge, unfortunately this little genius suffer from celiac disease, which is basically a gluten intolerance. It wasn't studied enough back then and, Christian's parents unknowingly fed him cereal, this led to him dying at the age of four. Number 2. Martin and Anna Bates, the giant couple. Anna Haining Swan was born in 1846 in Canada. She was born into a regular family, her parents' brothers and sisters were all of average height, but Anna was different, at the age of 15, she was already 6 feet 8 inches tall and weighed around 220 pounds. When she was 25, she fell in love with a circus performer named Martin Bates. His story was kind of similar to Anna's, he grew up in a family of average height, but he started growing rapidly at the age of 6, he reached 6 foot 8 inches by the time he turned 14, when Martin and Anna met, he was 7 feet 6 inches tall, and according to witnesses Anna was even taller, even though she was nine years younger than Martin, the couple quickly fell in love, and got married, they tried to have children twice. Sadly their daughter weighed 18 pounds and died soon after birth. Their son weighed more than 22 pounds and lived for just 11 hours. In 1888, Anna had a heart attack and died. In 1897 Martin married a woman of average height named Annette Lavon Weatherby. He died of nephritis 22 years later. Both Anna and Martin were creative people, and everyone remembered them not because of their height, but because of their talent for acting, and music. Number 3. June and Jennifer Gibbons, The Silent Twins June and Jennifer Gibbons, were born in 1963 in Barbados. From their very first days, the girls were quiet, and didn't communicate with anyone. After moving to Wales, the girls' parents realized that they weren't actually mute. They were communicating, but only with each other, and they used a special language, only they could understand. June and Jennifer's parents tried to separate the girls, going as far as to send them to different schools to make them communicate with other people, but it only made the situation worse. When June and Jennifer returned home, they started to protect themselves from the outside world even more. For Christmas 1979, they were each given a diary as a gift, and they began to write a lot. They created creepy stories about young men and women, who exhibited strange and often criminal behavior. After some time, they began committing crimes themselves, including arson and assault. A judge decided to send June and Jennifer to a hospital for psychiatric treatment. The girls were separated, but the staff were spooked, because they still managed to behave in a completely identical way, staying in identical poses in their cells at the same time. A journalist named Marjorie Williams fought for the girls for 11 years. In the end she finally helped to transfer the twins to a regular hospital. Before moving Jennifer told Marjorie, that she Jennifer was going to have to die because June and I decided so. According to Marjorie, the twins had an agreement, that one of them would have to die, to allow the other twin, to start to speak and live a normal life. The twins had agreed, that this was a necessary step and Jennifer made the choice to sacrifice her own life. She died at the age of 29. As it turned out, June and Jennifer had a difficult and complicated relationship, and expressed their love and hate for one another. In their diaries, Jennifer wrote that, 
Her sister was a dark shadow robbing her of sunlight, and kept wondering whether she could get rid of her own shadow, gain life, and be free. After her sister's death, June started communicating with her relatives, and even worked at a charity store for a short time, she is still alive, and lives a quiet and independent life near her parents. Number 4 Ella Harper the Camel Girl Ella Harper was born in 1870 in Tennessee. She was incredibly gorgeous, but unfortunately the first thing people saw, was not her pretty face but the strange, disease. She had Ella was born with three curved knees, that bent in the opposite direction to normal knees, the only way she could get around was on all fours, when she was 12, she joined the Harris Nickel Plate Circus program where, she was nicknamed the Camel Girl. In all the advertisements, she was described as a beautiful woman, who walked like a camel, at that time Ella made $200 a week which is about $5,000 now. At the age of 16, Ella decided to leave the show and go to school. She got married at the age of 35 and quickly became pregnant, however her precious daughter died, before the age of 1, for unknown reasons. When Ella was 48, she and her husband adopted a newborn girl, but she also died when she was just 3 months old. Three years after that, Ella died of colon cancer, she was buried in Spring Hill Cemetery next to her children. Number 5. William Stanley Milligan, the man with 24 personalities. A lot of people are familiar with William Milligan's story, from the books and movies about his life. He was born in 1955 in Florida, and had a rare psychological disorder, which made him have 24, full-fledged personalities who were not responsible for each other's actions, William himself could only control his personality Billy, but not the others, among Billy's personalities, were some really strong ones, that knew about the others and could even control and weaken them, some of the personalities helped Willie, deal with certain tasks and problems, others had destructive goals there were men, and women, adults, and children and people of different intelligence levels, with the different accents, and characteristics, and not all of them were friendly, two of William's personalities, committed several crimes, including robbery and kidnapping, resulting in Billy being taken to court. The judge, after listening to the opinions of experts, didn't sentence Billy to jail, instead he was sent for psychiatric treatment, Billy spent 10 years, in a psychiatric clinic. At the end of his stay, he was given a clean bill of mental health by his psychotherapists. After he was released, Billy created a small movie production company, but it went bankrupt without releasing a single movie. Soon after that, Billy stopped communicating with everyone he knew and moved away. He died in a nursing home when he was 59 years old. Videos, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get latest notifications.